So Ronit, you've been a fan of Swan Dive Theater for a long time. What do you really enjoy about Swan Dive? What I really enjoy about Swan Dive is the commitment to the big picture, the way that the um, the actors and what's going on on stage um, is also connected to the design and the design informs that and the rehearsals inform design. Um, and it's, it's really, really a culmination of a lot of artists coming together to create something as opposed to, um, you know, sometimes you get into productions where someone's going to do their job and someone else is going to do their job and never the twain shall meet. Um, and, and Swan Dive just uh, really creates an artist community within each production. So. You're performing as the role of Elizabeth in Defying Gravity. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you passed that script to Swan Dive Theater's artistic director, Meg DeShorio. I have loved Defying Gravity for a very long time, since high school or before. Um, there's something about the play that really um, tells a really great story, is really, really moving, but at the same time interesting. It, it really makes you... Um, think and feel for these characters. I saw a Baltimore Waltz and that was my um, my first ever Swan Dive experience um, and then seeing the other work that Swan Dive has done and um, just getting to know Meg and Damon I said god you guys have to do this show this is exactly what you do this is magical realism this is um, storytelling. This is um, emotion and heart and um, and a really cool way of telling a story. Uh, and so that's, I felt like it just had to happen. Uh, it's not every day that someone packs up and uh, leaves San Francisco to come be in a performance uh, for uh, little to no money. What, uh, what went through your head when you were asked to come out and uh, be in the show and 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 what ultimately uh, made you commit? I mean, I think it was kind of a a no-brainer almost. <laughs> I mean, I heard in May like, oh, by the way, we're doing Defying Gravity in January. And of course I was like, why would you do this to me? But um, then it was sort of like, well, what if I just come back and do it? Ha ha ha, so funny. And then I got home and I was like, well, yeah, like what if I just go back to do it? And very quickly, um, you know, the, the daydreaming started to happen and I could see it all and I said, okay, yeah, it just, it just makes sense. Um, I mean, yeah, it was kind of, I think, looking for an opportunity to throw all the chips in the air and see where they land. And um, I've been calling this my passion project or spirit walk or whatever you want, um, art journey. Uh, to go find myself and um, and there's no better people or uh, show that I would rather be doing that with. So. Lastly, what do you want to say to folks on this uh, Give to the Max Day 2014? Give to the Max Day. Give to the Max. Do that. Just give all the way to the Max. Um, Swan Dive is amazing and what they do is amazing, but that's not that that's not for little money. You can't just, I mean, you know, what we do is we make magic, but you can't do that with magic. Um, so, so really, I mean, the, the dollars help every little bit helps to um, create the art that Swan Dive creates. Uh, so, you know, we do it for you people um, and we want you to come and enjoy it and also be a part of it. Hey, I put in money that probably bought that ladder thing. You don't know. So give to the max. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.